What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Toronto and this is Toronto Racing. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to install a Vicrest steering wheel in your 2015 to 2020 Dodge Charger or Dodge Challenger. Now the part number is VZ101785 but you don't need to remember that. I'll put the description down below. The Vicrest steering wheel is completely customizable. Our steering wheel has a red 12 o'clock ring, both upper and lower forged carbon fiber, black Alcantara hand grips, and black stitching. Some simple tools you need for the job include a screwdriver with interchangeable tips, such as a Torx T10, T20, pocket screwdriver or a 90 pick, a ratchet, a 10 mil socket, and a 10 mil hex socket to remove the steering wheel. The first thing you need to do is open the trunk and remove the trunk liner to get to the battery. Disconnect the negative battery cable and let the car sit for 30 minutes. That way all the modules can power down. Next, locate these two holes on the side of your steering wheel. One on the driver's side and one on the passenger. With your pick or a pocket screwdriver, gently insert it into the holes and feel for a spring that will release the airbag. Once you've released the spring on both sides, the airbag will come right off. To disconnect the airbag, you will need to remove these three plugs. Use your 90 pick to release the safety tabs on the yellow plugs. The plugs are color coded, so there's no need to mark them. As you can see, the plugs are blue, yellow, and black. This is what it should look like once you have removed the airbag. The next step is to release this white plug this black plug, and of course the center bolt holding the steering wheel in place. Use your hex 10 mil and your ratchet to remove the bolt. Once you remove the bolt, remove the bracket below the bolt. The next step is to remove the steering wheel. Gently pull away the steering wheel. If you move too fast, the clock spring can pull out. Feed the wires to the steering wheel and the steering wheel is off. The next step is to swap over all the electronics and controls onto the new steering wheel. The first step in removing these buttons is removing these two screws on the upper left and right hand corners. Use your 90 pick or pocket screwdriver to remove the covers behind the paddle shifters if you have them. Remove the silver screw behind the cover. Once you have removed the screw, you can remove the paddle shifter. Behind the paddle shifter, there is another screw. Remove that screw and you can remove the front buttons. Now that you remove the controls, you can unplug them. Do the same on the other side. To remove the paddle shifter, follow the wire, unplug it, and feed it through the hole. Make sure not to confuse which paddle shifter is the left and which one is the right. Do the same on the other side. If you have a heated steering wheel, remove this portion of your steering wheel. Unplug both plugs on the left and right side. The next step is to remove the last three torques in the center of the steering wheel. Once you are done, you can remove that bracket and install it into the new steering wheel. The next step is to install the paddle shifter feed the wires through the hole. Once you have installed the paddle shifter, install the buttons. Insert the screw in the back for the buttons. Install the paddle shifter and install the last silver screw. And place the cover over the paddle shifter. 
do the same on the other side and this is what the final product should look like. It is important to note that if you have a heated steering wheel, you will not have a heated steering wheel with these new steering wheels. You will have to tuck away the wiring for the heated steering wheel out of the way. To reinstall the steering wheel, feed the airbag wiring through the steering wheel, align the steering wheel and push into place gently. The next step is to install the bracket and steering wheel bolt. Once you have finished tightening the bolt, install the airbag. The airbag will have some resistance. If all the wires are out of the way, it should click into place. If it does not click into place, make sure all the wiring is out of the way. Once you are finished, reconnect the negative battery cable and tighten it down. And this is the finished product. Alright guys, there you have it. That's how you install the bike crest steering wheel on your Dodge Charger or your Dodge Challenger. Now if you like these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and if you love these videos, subscribe. Till next time guys, peace out.